So today we're going to talk about something that every church classroom teacher loves, kids who talk back. No, oh, wait, that's not right. Well, anyway, we're going to learn three quick tips on how to handle talking back. We're so glad you're here today. Hey there, teaching class. Oh my, sounds like someone has a mouth on them. When it comes to teaching students, talking back can be a very common but very frustrating part of your day. Sometimes it can feel hard to know what to do. Well, today we're going to take a look at three tips for how to handle talking back in the church classroom. Tip one, choose not to be offended. It can be easy to take it personally when a student's giving you lip, but often it's really more about the student than you. For instance, talking back may happen because a student's having an internal conflict that he doesn't know how to handle, like frustration or hurt, or craving attention. He may feel some peer pressure, or it could even be that his impulse control skills are not mature yet. There are many reasons why this happens, but there's always only one way to respond by staying calm. So resist the urge to react in emotion and instead model respectful communication by addressing the situation in a calm, neutral way. Tip two, look beyond the behaviors. Sometimes the best way to handle a student who's talking back is to try and understand why it's happening. So when disrespect occurs, stop and notice what happened right before the behavior occurred, what was the behavior, and what was the result of that behavior, or in other words, what did the child get from acting that way? Also ask yourself if the same situation has happened to the student before. Is there a pattern? Here's an example. Before a behavior happens, a student is surrounded by his peers in a large group. The behavior is he keeps shouting out smart answers to make all the kids laugh. What he may be getting is attention and approval from his peers. And if this is the case, you may want to find other ways for this student to find attention, like inviting him to share something that he does well with the class instead. Tip number three, speak now or speak later. When a student is out of line in class, you have a decision to make. Do you want to address the behavior now in front of others, later in a more personal conversation, or do you want to do both? There isn't a right or wrong answer to this. Each situation is different, so use your best judgment. But if you choose to address the behavior right away, be sure to use a calm, firm, neutral tone of voice and respond with the same type of respect that you would want to see from your students. You can say something like, in this room we speak to each other with respect and kindness. And if you decide that digging deeper is a good idea, then consider connecting with the student in a personal conversation later when he is ready to listen. Use relaxed body language to communicate that this is an open dialogue. Then let him know why his behavior was inappropriate, but also make sure that the student can see that you care about his feelings too. Ask how he's feeling and why he made the comment. Listen to understand, not correct. Acknowledge his feelings and remind him of the expectations of the classroom. Then invite him to find a more positive way to handle his feelings in the future. And if the student's respectful during this conversation, make sure to praise that behavior. Wow, those are some great ways to handle talking back. But there's one more thing before you go. Remember that when it comes to teaching kids at church, Helping them grow in their faith is built on relationship, not just instruction. So invest in those relationships. Take time to get to know each student, celebrate their strengths, and build a positive rapport. But most of all, keep showing them how much Jesus loves them. Because after all, not only does a kid have a mouth on him, he also has a heart. Thanks for joining us today. And remember, if you like our videos, please share, like, and subscribe. Have a great week. See you next time.